Welcome to another episode of Essential RC and today we are looking at the OMP M1. Now I'm a big fan of the OMP range of helis. I have a couple including the M2, so um, two M2s actually. So got really high hopes for this. The M1 pushes the boundaries even further by going smaller. So uh, especially at this time when we're kind of all you know stuck at home with not a lot to do Having a small heli that you can throw around the garden definitely has its appeal. So let's have a look inside the box. So here we are. Here's the box that it comes in. Um, inside the sleeve, in true OMP fashion, you get a really nice rigid foam case that you can uh, continue to transport the heli in. Uh, and then we have some instructions. We have a charging lead for the included LiPo. We have some screws some spare servo horns, uh, we have here a small screwdriver, a little wrench, and a very small allen key, and the heli itself. Now this one is called Dull Purple, but to me that's more of a vivid pink than a dull purple, so um, we'll let them off. Um, there is a little bit of dull purple on it, but there's definitely more vivid pink. One really nice thing with the OMP helis, whatever colour you have, whether that be the dull purple, the racing yellow or the charm orange, you get the motor anodised in the same colour. So if you get the charm orange, you get orange anodised motor, etc, etc. So really nice little feature that they do. Um, some key features on this heli, it is a direct drive heli, the same as the M2, so there is no gearing in the heli whatsoever. The motor is just directly driving on a one-to-one -one ratio, the rotor blade, which is really nice. Um, on this you have a 290mm rotor diameter with a full alloy head and full alloy swash plate in here as well. Under the hood we have a 120 degree swash plate with no adjustment whatsoever on the ball links. So uh, if you can see that there, there's no adjustment whatsoever, which is really nice. So um, this is ready to go. If you do have an accident and crash it and you need to replace things, there's never any, is it set up right, etc. because the spare parts will just click straight in and you haven't got anything to set up. So from a, from a beginner's point of view, that's also really nice. You have digital coreless servos, so quite a high spec servo for such a small heli. Um, you also get a built-in receiver, so this comes with the OMP receiver built-in. You can plug in an SBUS Futaba receiver such as this. So this is an SBUS Futaba receiver, which is available from OMP Hobby. Or you can plug in a DSM or a DSMX satellite receiver if you fly spectrum so you get quite a bit of flexibility there i'm personally going to use a multi-protocol transmitter um, with the built-in omp heli um, receiver you have three flight modes with this heli um, so you have stabilized mode which um, is almost hands-off but it will drift uh, it's not going to be held via satellite or anything like this but it will, it will certainly hover itself and allow you to recover. It has what they call soft 3D, which most of us would call sport. So it will allow you to loop and roll and do all those sorts of things, fly inverted. And it also has what they call violent 3D, which is for experienced pilots that can really throw, throw the model around. Um, other features. The tail is a direct drive tail with a tiny little brushless motor, which you can see there. Um, one really nice thing about this heli, which I've noticed a lot of model helis recently don't come with, is the ability to adjust the flight controller. So on this flight controller, if I take the case off again, you have these little LEDs, which enable you to cycle through with these two buttons the setup, which you can then change the way the gyro behaves, you can adjust rates, you can adjust gain, you can adjust servo midpoints, you can adjust your collective, fully, fully customizable flight controllers, which 
is becoming quite rare now. So many of these helis that are coming out now are, are just kind of out of the box. You can't tune it. It is what it is. This really impressed. You can you can definitely tune it as you progress with it. So would I recommend it for a beginner? Absolutely. Um, some people might say they prefer learning on a fixed pitch heli, but if you actually want to learn to fly helicopters properly, then learning with a fixed pitch is definitely the way to go long term. Um, advanced pilots will love it. It's small enough to fly in the garden. I'm a big fan of the, uh, the OMP range. If we sit it next to the M2, you can see there is quite a difference in size there. Both both side by side there is quite a bit of difference in size this runs on three cells this runs on two cells the profile of the heli is the same so very similar look there as to uh, how they both look but I love the M2 so much that I have two of them and I'm hoping that this new M1 flies as well as the M2 when helis get this small, they, they start becoming a bit fluttery, but I'm really hoping that OMP have absolutely nailed the flight controller like they have on the M2, which is one of my favorite flying small helis. So yeah, there it is. Absolutely great looking little bit of kit, really well made. I like the fact that they don't use carbon on a lot of their new models. So you have the likes of the M2, which comes in two versions, one with carbon, and one with nylon. Now the nylon, as you can see, bends really well. With carbon it doesn't, it just it just snaps. But they've used the, the nylon, so if you land hard, there is quite a lot of give in that before it breaks. So it really does allow you to have hard landings and, and bump it around without having to constantly buy carbon parts. Now as you get better with flying helis, and hopefully you crash less, the rigidity of carbon is nice, but for a heli this size, I, I would always choose the, the flexibility of the uh, nylon because it just means you're not going to be breaking it. Carbon blades, that is critical that you have carbon blades. So yeah, great little package. Flies on a little 2S 30, uh, 350 milliamp power pack. So looking forward to getting this out. I'm going to go test fly it in the garden and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So there we go, the OMP M1. I'm really impressed, looks really well built. Can't wait to go and fly it. Make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon down below so that you see the next video of me flying it. And uh, yeah, I'm genuinely looking forward to trying it and seeing if it flies as well as the M2. Of course, the link is in the pinned comment and the video description on where you can buy this heli and how much they are. So check that out as well. And uh, yeah, what a perfect little toy to have kicking around during lockdown. So whether you're a beginner and want to learn to fly, this will work for you. Or whether you want to, you know, whether you're an experienced pilot that wants to maybe do some 3D in the garden, but doesn't want to drag out a massive, great big 600 size heli, then absolutely this is for you as well. Being direct drive, it's also going to be very quiet. So yeah, there we go. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.